here's a fun dance song that we can play on acoustic guitar. We basically have four chords. G, A minor, E minor, and C. What I'm doing is I'm using my rhythm five off of my rhythm sheet, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, or one, two, and, and four, and. Outside of just strumming it, what I'm also doing is just muting on the two. So I'll just do it over a G chord. Down, mute, up, up, down, down, mute, up, up, down, down, mute, up, up, down, down, mute, up, up, down. Then what we do is we take the same rhythm and play it all over all four chords. Down, mute, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up, down. Now those are the only four chords in the entire song. So you can do that throughout the entire song if you wish. You can also play around with that rhythm. Uh, maybe palm mute it sometimes. A lot of different options there. Now for the chorus, for the string part, I'm playing the melody by itself, and then I'm gonna be adding in how I did it in the intro with that consistent bass note going on underneath it. Okay, so here's the melody. Open on the second string. 2nd fret on the 3rd string. That happens twice. Then I go to the 2nd string, 1st fret, and 2nd string open. That also happens twice. Then I go to the 2nd fret on my 3rd string to open on the 3rd string. And that happens 4 times now. Now that's happening on each quarter note. So basically each one, two, three, and four. After you get comfortable with that, the next step is just to add the bass note of those four chords, which the bass note is just gonna be the lowest note that we play. For G, it's gonna be my sixth string, third fret. For A, it's gonna be my fifth string, open. For the E minor, it's gonna be my sixth string open, and then for C, it's gonna be my fifth string on the third fret. All right, now I'm gonna be doing those on the eighth notes, which is gonna be one and two and three and four and. Now I'm hybrid picking right here, which means my pick is gonna be doing the bass notes, and then I'm gonna be using my second and third finger to do um, the, uh, the other melody parts. If you like, you can also just finger pick that. Instead of using your pick, you can just use your thumb. All right, so here we go. Eighth note. A minor. E minor. C. Again, G. A minor. Now I did that in G. I believe that the original key is actually in A flat. So all you'd have to do is just slap a capo on the first fret, move your G position up, and you're good to go. But uh, thanks. Mm -hmm.